In this video, I will show you how to implement 2.4U FM Bench Detective so that you can start benchmarking your own FileMaker solution. Start by installing the 2.4U Toolbox plugin. FM Bench Detective uses the plugin to measure precise timestamps and to store collected data to the FM Bench log. To be able to benchmark your scripts, you have to copy a few pieces out of FMH Detective and paste them directly into your database files. First, copy the FMBench log file into the folder where your solution is located. If your solution is already hosted by FileMaker server, just upload the FMBench log file to the same FileMaker server. Now connect your solution to the log. Open your database in FileMaker Pro Advanced, choose File, Manage, External data sources, click on the new button and add file button, select fmbench log and confirm. You can also type the file name manually but make sure it exactly matches the log file name. Then you have to add the fmbench log table occurrence to your relationship graph. Choose file, manage, database and select the relationships graph. Click on the Add Table Occurrence button, choose the fmbench log file and add the fmbench log table occurrence. You don't have to create any relationships, just leave the table occurrence alone and it will work. The next thing necessary for fmbench detective to work properly is to copy its custom functions into your solution. You can find them in the fmbench detective file. Open fmbench detective and choose File. Manage, Custom Functions. Then copy all the custom functions and paste them into your database. Now let me show you how to easily and efficiently insert the fmbench measuring scripts tabs into your solution. Open the script named fmbench scripts tabs and leave it open. You will want to keep this script open until you are completely done. Now open one of the scripts in your solution. Let's start with a simple one. Copy the script step with the start parameter in the log script event function and paste it right on the top of your script. Then copy the overhead script step and paste it right after the first one. This script step measures the measuring overhead. Now copy the script step with the exit parameter and paste it to the end of your script. Save the script and repeat this process for every single script in your solution. If you have a more complex script, you may have conditional exit script steps in the middle of it. In this case, you have to insert the fmbench script step with the exit parameter just before every single exit script and then to the end of the whole script as well. You will probably also have several scripts that interact with the user, display custom dialogs, print dialogs, import or export dialogs, or anything else. Of course, when you benchmark your scripts, you probably don't really care how long the script waits for the user to click on that OK button. Usually you only care about how long the script was doing some work. So to measure and eliminate the user interaction delays, you can surround each such user interaction with the FM bench script steps with the pause and resume parameters. Nice side effect of this is that you can even benchmark not only your solution, but also the users using it. Finally, you may be using the halt script step in some of your scripts. If you do that, make sure to insert the fmbench script step with the halt parameter just before every halt script step, just like you measure the exits. Okay, that's all. Don't forget to insert the benchmarking script steps in every single script of your solution. If you don't do that, you still will be able to measure your scripts, but you won't be able to find the real bottlenecks.